Okay, so um, my name's Richard March. Um, I used to play in a band called Pop Leads itself, and I'm playing a band called Bentley Rhythm Ace. And I currently play in a Hold on a minute, and you were in EMF for a little bit. <laughs> and EMF for a little bit. But I'm here to talk about a band I'm currently playing in with my friend Brian, which is called The Manager Toms, and we're doing a show down here at Bass Studios on the 7th of October, which is a week on Friday. That's right. What can you tell us about Major Toms, Brian? Major Toms, okay, well, a singer, Owen, he lives in New York. He's a New York resident. He flies over to sing lead in the, in the band. We also have a, a backup, uh, a substitute lead singer, George Davis. Um, and in the band, there's Tim Fenton, um, Keith York, incredible Keith York, a drummer. Um, Tim Fenton from Sealand, incredible player. Andy Powell. Andy Powell. Maggie Smythe on backing vocals. And Dave Robertson on Dave keyboards. Robertson on keyboards, who's known as the Android, most affectionately, because he's an incredible, incredible musical mind. He doesn't have to, he's one of those guys who doesn't have to think about it too much. He can just do it. Yeah. And I'm Brian Travers from UB40, and I play saxophone. And uh, we, we play these songs, they're all written in the 70s and stuff, and it might seem like it's a cover band. Well, no, it's not. We're doing recitals of classic <laughs> rock music. <laughs> so, um, Owen asked us to do a gig about a year and a half ago, because it, it was coming over for his 50th birthday, and we enjoyed it so much that it almost became our okay. A social event. Absolutely. So we carried on rehearsing and, and we realised that we could do some more shows and also because everybody in the band is like working as professional musicians anyway, we thought well what else can we do with this band? So one of the things we're doing at Bay Studios, we're doing a little charity show for a, uh, a charity called Nordoff Robbins which is a music based charity. And it all ties in with a project that myself and a guy called Alex Griffin, who you may remember from a band called Nids Tonic Dustbin, are trying to set up with Warren here at Bay Studios. And the idea is that in conjunction with Halzone College, where myself and Alex both work as music lecturers, we're going to set up a youth music project for kids who are excluded from school or from um, poor backgrounds or got learning disabilities, just people who aren't being catered for in the general mainstream education system. And the idea is to approach music um, so they get a qualification at the end of it, but doing it in a less formal environment so that they come along and then they're enjoying themselves yeah. and getting the idea that you can make a career out of the entertainment industry. It's something that myself and Brian have both been very lucky to be able to do. Incredibly that. lucky, yeah. And I, I, I think there's a good point in all this. I mean, when these kids get sidelined, and they do, they, they get, really get pushed to the outskirts and their, their openings and opportunities get less and less. And what I, what I love about Richard's idea for this project is if these guys get a chance to find out ha if they have any creativity inside them, and, and I'm a believer in everybody's got a novel in them, everybody's got a symphony hidden deep inside them somewhere, most people just don't get a chance to play that first note. And, uh, and I know, if, if I use my experiences, I grew up in the inner city in Borsal Heath, in, in the middle of Birmingham. I hadn't seen a lot of instruments before I started becoming a musician. I certainly didn't know how to blow a saxophone. I didn't know how to tune a guitar. And, and I think a lot of young people, when they can't instantly play a great chord or play a lead line on a guitar, they think, oh, I can't play a guitar, I'm tone deaf me. Well, there's nobody in this world that's ever been able to pick up a musical instrument and play it straight away. And the, the, and the thing about this is, there's only 12 notes. And I know if me and him get hold of a few of these kids, within half an hour we can show them something that they've got inside them. And on the basis of nothing succeeds like success, if you can make yourself feel good, that's probably one of the greatest inspirations and motivations you need to push on further. And music is our culture. It's a huge part of our culture, a huge part of all of us. Yeah. It's very rare that somebody doesn't like music. I mean, there are people out there that do. But I know, you know, even if you can't be the best musician in the world, you can't have a number one record, you can be inspired by music, it can motivate you to finding out about yourself and being something else. And just, you know, as Mao said, the thousand mile journey begins with the first step. And if, it's a, if this is a first step in a positive direction of inclusion with these guys, well, great, you know, job done in a way. Absolutely. Because you can't teach somebody how to be a great musician. They have a, if I've got it in them, They'll find it once yeah. you've started that ball rolling, and uh, and I believe in music as it cures a lot of ills, and uh, <coughs> it's saved my life. Absolutely, mine, mine too. Yeah, well, yeah. So it's the idea of the project is that we we're going to get some kids down here, and we're going to 
be working on developing their skills as musicians, but also, I mean, they've got a fantastic facility. We've got recording studios, we've yeah. got all the lighting and sound equipment, video and equipment, mm -hmm. so all kinds of elements of performance and production within the creative arts sector. Sure. We'll be giving these kids an opportunity to have a go at, at developing some of those skills. So the idea is the gig is on Friday the 7th, the yeah. Major Toms, it's an all-star band. We're playing classic um, David Bowie and Roxy music. Which yeah, is kind fantastic. Of a, it's the soundtrack to our youth. Isn't it, it is really, yeah. And, you know, when we got the band together, it was so much fun because we thought we knew all these songs off by heart because we'd heard them so many times until we sat there and tried to play them. And it's like, oh, he's quite a good songwriter. That and you, Bowie, and, and yes, so, so did you. And you realise how very good, how excellent these guys were yeah. writing songs. One of the songs had about 27 different chords in. Yeah. I mean, now. It's 12 notes in uh, a minute ago. Well, there is only 12 <laughs> notes. There is, sure. But their arrangements are incre incredibly complex. There, there were no drum machines. Not that I'm, I, I, I love drum machines, but there weren't any in this. And you played the stuff, and for us, it's a real great exercise in just playing music and, yeah. and having to think outside of our own boxes where, you know, we've been in bands playing the same song for <laughs> many years. It's what happens if you're in a band that you have a hit record, you play that record forever. Unfortunately, you would be 40, you've had 50, top 20 <laughs> records, and it's a nightmare. You can't play, you can't get to play any new music, because yeah. you know yourself, yeah, you had absolutely. loads of hits. Yeah, so we'll just play somebody else's hits. So we'll play somebody else's hits, <laughs> in reference to, but I, I think all that 70s stuff is getting kind of vogue you now as well, yeah, and hip for young people. They're starting to look for stuff they haven't yeah. heard a great deal of. And, uh, I definitely see that at college. But the, but the idea is, um, if you like good music, come and have a look. If you're interested in what we're trying to set up with the young people in Stourbridge, come and have a look and see the kind of great facilities that we've got available here. You can have a chat to us about what we're trying to set up and what we're trying to achieve. Um, but most of all, we're just trying to raise awareness, letting people know that there are people out there who do care about young people yeah. in the local area. Well done, and we're doing, you know, we're trying to do something positive for the kids in the area. That's it. Raise some awareness and raise some money for a great charity at yeah. the same time. As well as have a great time ourselves playing music. I mean, it really is its own reward, so uh, it's, 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 double, yeah. it's double good, you know. Yeah. Well done, I'm really, really uh, happy about it. Can't wait. And Bass Studios, is, I know all about the guys, we've done interviews before, but it's the first time I've come here. It's Rufford Road in Stourbridge, yeah. on the industrial state. I know we can make loads of noise, it's not going to bother anybody on the night, which is great. We'll have it all at number 11. Yeah. But um, <laughs> what a great facility this is, I didn't realise. We're sitting in the gig room now, in the venue part, which is <laughs> incredible, <laughs> lighting rigs and everything. But the studio's here, and as Richard said, and film, you know, video editing, yeah. and great, man. Come and check it out, please. Come and watch me play a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs>